I also want to note that some people may wonder, well, if he's not on the ballot, can people just write him in? Well, in this opinion, they specifically say that the Secretary of State is also barred from counting any write-in votes cast for Trump. 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution says, and I'm quoting now, no person shall hold any office who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. Uh, pretty significant uh, 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Minnesota, uh, in New Hampshire, in Michigan, and right now in Colorado, it's going forward to remove him. Alyssa, how do you expect Trump and his team to react to this stunning news? It, it truly is stunning news. And I expect this is a five alarm fire, even to the fact of Dave Chalian's point that this doesn't actually really change the map for Donald Trump. He's not necessarily playing for the 10 electoral votes in Colorado, but it's the precedent it sets. And it's also just the mindset that it signals to voters, which is for the first time in history, he is unfit to appear on a ballot for the presidency. Um, and of course, there would be implications if the Supreme Court upheld this. Um, I think that you're going to hear a massive outcry from him and his team. They're needlessly to say, needless to say, are going to be challenging this. And I do offer a word of caution.